What you're looking at behind me is the road to the beach in Tulum. That's Tulum proper downtown. And then that is the road that connects the east coast of the Yucatan Peninsula beaches. This video it is just me showing you how to get to the beach. There's one road in and one road out four miles in each direction. And that's the road you use to get to the beach. Starting from a different angle here, walking up on the intersection I just showed you right there, and we'll turn right to go down the road to the beach. There's a 7-Eleven right there that is surrounded by very eager taxi cab drivers, but it's a good station. And here we have Cafe Azul. I've included it here because it has the best smoothies in town. You can add whatever you want to them. The next place is included among all of the hostels and restaurants along the ride to the beach is a place where you can go do a 5-MEO DMT ceremony. It's publicly advertised. They have pictures of some celebrities in the front. I'm not sure if those are authorized, but nonetheless, you can go do DMT there. Next shown is the road to the more newly developed part of Tulum. You can see how smoothly paved it is and how nice it looks probably has something to do with the amount of money going into that area of the city. Right there is a sales office and in the distance now is a crane. Back on the main road are three signs that say, if not now, when? Just an illustration of the ethereal undertones of Tulum. Now a word from me. The intersection I showed you is about a 10 minute bike ride from the roundabout or that you go around to the beach so on this way to the beach there are some commercial establishments at the beginning of the road and then there's some natural wooded areas on either side of the sidewalk that you can see behind me this seems like a good opportunity to let you know about the importance of having access to a functional bike while in Tulum it's a bike friendly place and it is almost impossible to be around locally without a bike. There are buses and these transport vans that I can't remember the name of. But having a bike in Tulum is, is necessary. Not just that, but a functional bike. First bike I rode in Tulum, the pedals came off about 60 yards from where I'll sting, which gave me the chance to just turn around and go back there. And then the bike I'm currently on has lost its chain twice since I've been on this journey with you today. So that's a span of about 10 minutes. We're approaching the roundabout, so I've got to turn this around. Here is the roundabout from which you would go left to go through Zona Archaeologica through a hotel zone, some beach access, some restaurants, and then all the way at the end are Mayan ruins. If you go to the right, it is also still considered a hotel zone, but the first thing you come to is the Papaya Playa project, which includes accommodations, a beach club, multiple restaurants. It is centered around restfulness, mindfulness, and wellness. And even if you're not staying there, you can access it and do some of the things that are included for the guests, such as yoga classes. Shown here is the path from the reception area back to the space where I attended a yoga class right by the ocean. Back out on the main road, you have more of the signage in front of the Papaya Playa project. There is a Herman Hesse quote, the author of Siddhartha. I'll leave a link to it if you're really curious. And then the Dalai Lama. Carl Sagan is among another person quoted at the signage of the Papaya Playa project. Further on down that road are more restaurants and places to stay. One of the places Mateo's has of the panoramic sun deck from which you can see the sunset as I did and took a picture of here. Continuing down this road you have 
some places that I would recommend eating, although they are too numerous to name here. Once you get to the end of the road, it runs into the ocean, and you have views like this. This is the sunrise. And then here is just another picture of what it looks like when you get there. Go in the other direction into the Parque Nacional Tulum, Zona Archeologica Tulum. That's going the other direction from the roundabout we saw earlier. You head back this way, and similarly, there are hostels, hotels, and restaurants, but it is not quite as commercial. You just continue on down this road. It gets crowded as people park so that they can publicly access the beach, and you do the best you can to survive. Here's the first access way to the public beach. It's about a mile down that road. It's Playa Paradiso. I think that's what it's called, and here's a picture of it right there. Continuing further down this road, it gets narrower. As you see, there are only pedestrians and people on bikes at this point. That's because cars aren't allowed past a certain point. Even further down, you get to the entryway into some Mayan ruins. And that is the end of this road. It's about three miles down there. I didn't go in, but behind this wall here and staircase are Mayan ruins. And that is the beach road in Tulum.